All right, so here we are at the end of our World War I unit. Um, the map of Europe has changed drastically since um, your, your pre-World War I map. So you know that we had four um, empires that completely dissolved and fell apart at the end of World War I. So we're going to take a look at those, um, see how those things falling apart, how that changed the map. Um, we have many more countries to label this time. Um, I already have my bodies of water and my... Um, they're shaded in and labeled. So if you will go ahead and do that, um, that would be great. So go ahead and click pause now. What in the world? Okay, go ahead. Click pause now and get those things shaded in for me. Labeled and shaded in. Uh, let me walk you through them real quick though. So right up here, this is the Atlantic Ocean. This is still the North Sea. This is still the Baltic Sea, B-A-L-T-I-C, Baltic Sea. This is the Mediterranean. That should be the easiest one for you to identify on a map, um, probably. And then over here we have the Black Sea. Um, one little thing, a little clue that I have for you whenever you look at a map of Europe and you're trying to figure out where the Baltic or the Black Sea is, excuse me, I always look for um, two places, like two areas of land that look like they're trying to give each other like a fist bump. So if you look right here, right where my cursor is, um, it looks like these two pieces of land or trying to like give each other a fist bump. So um, that's part of the you know, Ottoman Empire, former Ottoman Empire. Um, today you're going to find out what country it is, but it looks like it's just coming out and giving itself a fist bump. All right. So anyway, go ahead, take a minute, get these things labeled and shaded in on your map, and then we can start labeling the country. So go ahead and click pause now. Okay. So let's go ahead and start labeling our countries. Um, I'm going to start with the easiest ones, the ones that you should already you should already know. Um, so let's start off over here. Um, this is Portugal, and I'm going to apologize now. My pen does not always write as well on the screen, so um, it's very important that you listen to what I say as well as label it at the same time. So we have Portugal, Spain. This is France. This is Germany. Okay. Another easy one, Italy. Okay. This, we're going to come up here, is Iceland. Remember that you can pause this along the way. Okay. This is Ireland, I-R-E-L-A-N-D. And this is Great Britain. Great Britain. Okay, again, sorry, my pen is not working so well on the screen. So um, those are the countries that you should pretty much, you should know these countries by heart, okay? Um, let's go ahead and start adding in some of the other ones that you might not know. All right, so um, let's start with, we'll start right here, okay? We're going to label this number one, and then I'm going to come over here and give myself a key. So number one is going to be the Netherlands. Again, this is one that you should know. Netherlands. N-E-T-H-E-R-L-A-N-D-S. Right below that is Belgium. B-E-L-G-I-U-M. Number three is going to be Switzerland, which is right here. Actually, you know what? Let's not make Switzerland number three. Let's make um, Luxembourg number three, okay? Number three is going to be right there. In fact, it's so tiny. I'm just going to do that. Okay, and you are welcome to abbreviate that. Luxembourg. Okay, let's make Switzerland number four. Okay. Okay, so you know that um, the Austrian-Hungarian Empire, they they fell apart at the end of World War One. So Austria becomes its own country and Hungary becomes its own country as well. So number, um, this is Austria, A-U-S-T-R-I-A. -A. And this is Hungary, H-U-N-G-A-R-Y. Okay. Austria and Hungary, they become their own countries. Right above that, um, we're going to label this number five. This is Czechoslovakia. Okay, so number five is going to be Czechoslovakia, and that is C-Z-E-C-H-O-S-L-O-V-A-K-I-A. 
A, Czechoslovakia. Okay, Czechoslovakia. All right, um, kind of to the right of, well, to the right or to the east of Hungary, this is where we have Romania. Romania. This is Bulgaria. B U L G A R I A. Okay. This right here, we're going to label that number six. Number six is Yugoslavia. Y U G O S L A V I A. Yugoslavia. Number, um, let's make this number seven right here. Albania. Number seven is Albania. A L B A N I A. This area down here, you should know this one as well. This is Greece. Okay. So when the Ottoman Empire fell apart, um, there were some other countries that were formed because of that as well. So this becomes Turkey, T U R K E Y, just like what you eat on Thanksgiving. And this is also part of Turkey as well. So in a minute, I'm going to go through and I'm going to give each country its own color. So hopefully that will help you um, be able to identify those on a map. Um, right here, we have Syria, S-Y-R-I-A, Syria, okay? Let's go across the Black Sea to this giant space here. This is no longer Russia. It is now referred to as the Soviet Union. Okay, Soviet Union. Let's just continue working our way around. We're going to go over here to the top, to these, th these three countries that are right side by side. We're going to start off with Finland. Okay. This is Sweden. S-W-E-D-E-N. And then over on the far left, we have Norway. N-O-R-W-A-Y. Norway. Okay. All right, let's come back over to um, across the Baltic Sea. And this is going to be Estonia. I'm going to label that number eight. This is going to be nine, 10, and 11. Okay, lots of little countries there where we can't get everything written in. So eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, number eight is going to be Estonia, E S T O N I A. Okay. Number nine is Latvia, and that is L-A-T-V-I-A. -A. The number 10 is Lithuania, L-I-T-H, oh my goodness, this pen, Q-A-N-I-A, -A, Lithuania. And 11 is going to be East Prussia, East Prussia. Okay, so really the only country that I'm seeing that we need to label right now is Poland. And that's this one right here, Poland. Okay, um, that's a lot. This is kind of a messy map. Um, hopefully yours looks a little bit neater than mine. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna shade each country um, so that you can see the difference between borders and you know what's what and what's where. So um, go ahead and click pause. Get these countries labeled. Make sure you have your bodies of water labeled and shaded in as well. And then when you come back, I'll have all of these um, shaded in for you. Okay, I forgot to label Denmark. Um, so if you would, please, we're going to label it number 12. And it's Denmark, D-E-N-M-A-R-K. All right, and Denmark is going to be right here. Oops, okay. So this little part right here up at the top of Germany. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, you can go ahead and shade in some of those countries if you want. I'm going to go back to shading them in. Um, go ahead and click pause and, and do what you need to do. Okay, so this is what your map should look like. Um, lots of new countries. Um, lots of color there. Um, so... Our map has changed quite a bit since the beginning of World War I. So if you compare it to this map that we did, you can see how many new countries have formed because of the war and because of these different empires that, um, that fell apart. So, okay, 
Um, this will go into your interactive notebook. Please make sure you get it labeled. Please make sure you get a page number on it and that you get it in your interactive notebook. Um, and start working on your test review. All right, have a great day. Thanks.